Now this particular um, figure here is called a cone and we'll be looking at some of the calculations surrounding a cone. And now in this particular diagram here I went ahead and used a, a ruler to make my measurements and I found this edge here in centimeters 9.7 and I measured my radius of 2.5 and I needed to, because it's a cone, there was a third height I had to find, um, the vertical height of the cone. I had to do some calculations on that to find that vertical height. So I'll use Pythagorean's theorem here to find the height of that cone here. So I knew this edge, I knew this edge, I needed to find this edge. So I subtracted what I knew and saw for what I didn't know here. And I found that uh, the height of the cone to be 9.4343 for the height of the cone. And these are some of the other formulas I used. For my base is a circular base. So my formula is pi r squared. Okay. And that lateral area around the cone is used by this formula here. And then I have my surface area, which is the base plus the lateral area. And then I have my formula for the volume, which is pi r squared h divided by 3. So starting out here. I'm using 3.14 for pi and pi r squared, 2.5 squared, and I squared it and multiplied it out. And my base is 19.625 square centimeters. Then I found my lateral area, which is pi r squared times the square root of h squared plus r squared. Okay. And then I went ahead and uh, simplify what's inside the radical here and multiply it across. Okay. And I end up with 79.089 square centimeters. My surface area, I add my base to it, my area of my base. And it gives you my total surface area. For my volume, I have pi r squared. Okay times h divided by 3 gives me a volume of 61.716 cubic centimeters and that's the end of those calculations there okay have a great day everyone